In this video, I am going to show you how to use the week num function in Google Sheets. If you're regularly dealing with date data and you need to return a number that represents the week of the year for a certain date, the week num function will come in handy. All this function does is it takes a date and it returns the week number of that date. So first, let's go over the basic syntax of the function. So there's only two arguments. The first argument is the date, which is the date that will be used to return the week number. And the second argument is called type. What type is, is an optional argument that is set to one by default. And basically what this does is it tells Google Sheets which day the week starts on. So a one, is Sunday, two is Monday, three is Tuesday, and etc. So for the type fun or the type argument or parameter, um, you have a few different options. So you can either set it to one or leave it out and it will be set to one by default. And that will mean that the week begins on Sunday and ends on Saturday. Now you can put a two here and that means the week will begin on Monday and end on Sunday. You can put an 11 where the week will begin on Monday and end on Sunday. You can put a 12 where the week will begin on Tuesday and end on Monday. A 13 where the week will begin on Wednesday and end on Tuesday. A 14 where the week begins on Thursday and ends on Wednesday. 15 begins on Friday, ends on Thursday. 16 begins on Saturday, ends on Friday. 17 begins on Sunday, ends on Saturday. And 21, which begins on Monday and ends on Sunday. So 21 is what is called system two for counting weeks, which means that the first week of the year is the week containing the first Thursday of the year. This is the European system. All of the rest of these are system one, where the first week of the year is the week containing January 1st. Um, so that's an important distinction to note about this type parameter. But enough with the syntax, let's actually use the function just so you can see how it's used. Again, it's pretty simple. So I'm just gonna go equals week num, and then I'm gonna put in my date add my closing parentheses and you can see that December 30th is the 53rd week of the year and January 1st is the first week of the year. So again, I'm leaving this type um, argument omitted, which means it's going to be set to one by default. If you want to change how it counts the weeks or which day it starts on, you can put in the type parameter that you desire um, just to show you some of the differences, I'm gonna use type 21, which again is the European system, where the first week of the year is the week containing the first Thursday of the year. And so you can see December 30th is still week 53 with type 21, but then January 1st is also week 53 of this type 21, whereas with type one, you can see January 1st is the first week of the year. So that's just an example of some of the differences by changing that type argument that you might have. So again, this is pretty easy to fun or it's a pretty easy function to use, but I wanted to show this because if you're regularly working with dates, this is a useful function to know. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.